What's going on guys? In this video, I am going to talk about traveling with vinyl records. A lot of people ask me what are the best ways to do so, and there are some do's and don'ts that I think are very important, whether you're a casual traveler or you're always going around the country or the world looking for records. Hopefully these tips and recommendations for bags will help you out. If this is your first time watching the channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, make sure your bell is turned on so you don't miss out on any videos I've put out. Got about 400 in the backlog, so you got some catching up to do. And if you're a regular, welcome back, let's dive in. When you're traveling with records, A, it can be very heavy, and B, you have to take into account that they are very fragile, in the sense that you can't be bumping them around, you wanna make sure they're protected as best as possible, and finding something that meets in the middle for those qualifications can be a little tricky. When you're in a car, the most important thing is to make sure that they are not anywhere that is too, too hot. If it's a very hot day, don't leave them in your trunk. If it's not a hot day, but it's a sunny day, don't leave them in a sunbeam. I made that mistake when I first got into records and I put a bunch of records. I bought at Waterloo in Austin in the back of a car in the little area above the back seats. They were all unbelievably warped by the end of the day. It was very stupid of me and I learned my lesson the hard way, but make sure you don't fall into that trap because it's easy to not think, oh, you know, the sunlight will be fine. It's not gonna be too hot, whatever it may be. Direct sunlight warps records, not as much heat. So definitely worth thinking about. But car travel is one thing, plane travel is an entirely different beast. So you're gonna be carrying your records around. It's gonna be, you know, like I said, heavy, depending on how many you have, and you wanna make sure they're protected. So when you're on the plane, the best place for the records are gonna be directly below you in the seat in front of you. You can keep an eye on them. This can be your carry-on. If you can put other things in the carry-on to make it easier for your flight, that's great. But the record safety should be the priority and under the seat in front of you is the best place for you to keep an eye on it and make sure it's not being crushed in the overhead bins. The worst thing in the world would be to put something above you and then all of a sudden someone last minute comes on the plane and shoves their big heavy bag in there and just crushes your records. It's a nightmare that I have every time I go on a plane, which is why I do not put records up there. I always keep them below. So. You can put them in a tote bag. Anything that kind of keeps them bundled together pretty nicely is gonna be a good move. And you can keep an eye on them. When they're below you, you can watch during the flight to make sure they're not shifting around, they're not sliding out of the bag, whatever it may be. It's the best place to keep them safe. But one caveat that people probably don't think about is when you're on a plane, there's something called the bulkhead seat. And that's the seat that usually has a little more leg room, but there's nothing in front of you. It's usually a wall, sometimes with a TV. When you're sitting in the bulkhead seat, you have to put everything above. You cannot put stuff underneath, which, you know, that can become an issue for sure um, if you have records with you. So you wanna try to avoid picking those bulkhead seats if you pick your seats ahead of time. Um, if you get a bulkhead seat by just how the things shake out, definitely try to ask if you could switch it because again, records are not gonna be super safe in the bin above unless you have one of those really sturdy like Odyssey DJ cases, but those are pretty heavy and cumbersome and they're specifically for records. So it's not really the most ideal thing to carry on a plane. It doesn't have a lot of other utility and it takes up a lot of space. So not usually what people are gonna be going for. However, definitely an option. Now let's talk about the actual cases that I can recommend for carrying records. I've been experimenting with two over the past year or so, um, and there's two that I think are the best bang for your buck, two different price points, uh, both have their pros and cons. Uh, there's one that's my personal favorite, but I'm gonna share both with you right now. My favorite of the bags, which I have to say I've really fallen in love with, I've used it in some of my past vlogs, if you've watched them, is the Tucker and Bloom North to South Messenger Bag. First of all, this thing is beautiful. There's a couple different colors. I really liked this green, and I don't know if this is just a weird trend with bags, but it also has this orange interior. I think they look really nice together. Um, it does have more of a messenger bag feel to it, which is nice. Um, the materials are extremely high quality. It's sleek, um, and these straps on the front are really, really nice to kind of click into. It adds another layer of security when you have the top folded over your records. And the strap is extremely comfortable. It has like this kind of soft coating on the inside to help with your shoulder when you're carrying a load of records. Uh, and I was surprised based on looking at this, how many records this thing can hold. I think these can hold roughly 20 records, give or take, depending on the size of the records. And it holds them comfortably. I feel like there is a little bit peeking out in the corner. You can kind of see when this is folded over, but I don't think it's exposed enough to worry about any kind of damage happening to the records. I think it has a nice protection overlay. And especially when you have it and you're carrying it over your shoulder, it's very comfortable. It's again, stylish. I got complimented by two different flight attendants on two different flights about loving my bag, which I've never been complimented about any bag I've ever owned. So that says something about the quality of this. This one runs for 235. Um, I went to go double check that on the site and they actually had a 10% off coupon if you give your email. So a little cheaper than that if you are smart about buying. This right here is the Gator 
record case. So they claim that this carries 35 records uh, with you as you go. 35 records is very heavy. I don't think you want to be carrying around 35 records, even though it does have a nice, just almost smack myself in the face, almost has a, <laughs> it has a nice shoulder strap, which is good, but that's going to eventually get a little tough to carry. You know, that weight on you is a lot. I wouldn't recommend carrying more than 25 records at any given time. I've carried boxes of 50, 60, 70 records when moving, and that is not fun. I would not recommend doing that on a trip. Um, if there's any records you can ship when you're in your destination before bringing them on the plane, that's ideal. Maybe just carry the grails or the rarest or most important records and try to ship the rest media mail if you can. But yeah, the Gator case is nice. It isn't extremely premium looking. I do like the orange inner lining um what i will say is i think there was an older version of this bag that there's like a i don't know if you can see here there's like this like middle piece that i guess is meant to be putting dj equipment in that side the older version of the bag used to be able to rip that out so you could have more space for just records the new ones they're unfortunately sewed in so for me i was able to fit comfortably somewhere between 20 and 25 single LPs. Now, if you have thick jackets, like all gate folds or two or three LPs in there, obviously it's gonna be less than that. But overall, this is a pretty sturdy bag. It's not gonna win any stylish awards, but it's definitely good for efficiency. And at 130 bucks, it's a great kind of more budget option. But if I ever need to carry two loads of records, I'm definitely gonna bring both with me, really break my shoulders and back down as I transport these wax discs wild distances. But yeah, those are my picks for the bags. I think that either one will be excellent and I think that the tips that I mentioned before will really help you travel safely with your records. If you have any other questions or tips about traveling with records, please drop a comment below. I would love to hear what I missed. Maybe there's something you can even teach me. I'm always learning as much as I am trying to teach others. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. If you want links to those bags I mentioned, I'll drop them in the description below. So thank you guys for watching. More coming soon. Take it easy.